Hello, thanks for joining us for this new website tutorial. We've just reorganized our website at the Pesticide Re Educational Resources Collaborative, and we're so excited to share it with you. This project is operated through a cooperative agreement between the US EPA and the University of California at Davis Continuing and Professional Education in cooperation with my university, which is Oregon State University. We've been working on this project for about eight years now, and we've developed so many new educational materials we really had to reorganize the whole website and make it much more searchable and easy to navigate. That's what I'd like to show you today. I wanna to draw your attention right here to the upper navigation part of our website where you'll see the three main project areas, agricultural community-based projects where PERC is giving away $1 million to different community-based organizations that serve farm workers, their families, and their communities. We also have a section on our website for certification and training. This is relevant to the licensed applicator community. States, tribes, and territories that run certification programs can adopt these manuals and exams, and they can also modify them for their purposes. Maybe add a chapter, add your logo, and um, take off and running. You can sell those products in your local bookstores like you do with the rest of your manuals and exams. I wanna spend most of our time today though showing you our new WPS. Uh, collection. This is relevant to the worker protection standard, which was revised in 2017 and just about the time that we were getting started with the PERC project. So everything needed to be redone um, and updated according to the new standards. We took that opportunity to also make things much more accessible and specific to the audiences. As you come through our, our WPS webpage, it starts with a decision tree. This decision tree was kind of designed similarly to TurboTax or those kind of decision trees where you're only asked one question at a time and you get plenty of support to answer those questions that might be borderline. When you answer all the questions in our decision tree, it might tell you at the end that you are considered an agricultural employer under the worker protection standard, or maybe you are considered a handler um, commercial pesticide handler employer, a trainer, a labor contractor, each of these roles has a role to play in protecting workers from pesticide exposure. So coming through the decision tree, it'll land you in a place where you have one of these specific pages for your role that's filled with frequently asked questions, guides, and resources specific to your role in the WPS. Moving down further, uh, the training videos are some of the most popular parts of our website and our YouTube channel. There's a wide variety of trainings available. It's nice to mix it up. If your workers saw one video last year, maybe it's a good idea to find a different one for this year or find a PowerPoint presentation, a flip chart, or some other mechanism to keep things fresh and interesting. The WPS poster is supposed to be up at every agricultural establishment, and it needs to be available in the language that's spoken by the workers on site. So we have this poster available in multiple languages. You can print it out locally at your own printer in your own um, business, or you can also order printed copies uh, from one of our cooperators that's listed on the website. Flip charts are useful for doing WPS training when you don't have access to a conference room or a um, internet access, for example, a flip chart can be used on the back of a pickup truck, standing in a field and working with workers to make sure they have the information they need before they get started doing their work. This is a spot I often come when I'm looking for the perfect handout before I go to an event. I'm asked to give a lot of talks about the WPS and also I visit with a lot of establishments that are working hard to comply. So this might be a place to come and look for the, the right handout to focus on the area that you're most interested in before heading out to an event. On the resource type inventory, as I'll come back to in a moment, but I wanna highlight the dictionary and definitions. We had to, to develop our own bilingual dictionary of terms related to the worker protection standard because we were translating so many things into Spanish of our own publications. So we started developing this guide for internal purposes but then thought it would be really useful to share online. So for each term that's relevant in the um, dictionary to the WPS, we provide that term in English and its definition, the term in Spanish and its definition. That's a really uh, important resource on our website. We'll also find all the legal definitions for the WPS here. And also we put together a list of contacts that's relevant to your local state, tribe or territory. So you can ask questions of someone local if that's what you need to do. 
Coming all the way down to the bottom of our website, please do click on these buttons and follow us on your socials. Sometimes we're posting really relevant content for worker protection in a timely way that you might also want to share on your agency's website or your university's website. Sign up for our newsletter. You'll be notified about new things that we publish. Also be notified about the opportunities to work on publications with us in both paid and unpaid positions. If you want to see a list of things we have created specifically right here in the upper navigation, PERC projects. This will give you an idea of what we're working on now and also what we've completed. And each of those is hyperlinked so you can find them easily. In closing, I want to make sure that you sign up for our newsletter. You'll be notified of things that come out and opportunities to work with us. Thank you.